Good afternoon, and welcome to day 14 of our corporate 21 days of daily devotional prayer and fasting. Thank you for joining in today, and God bless each of you as you journey throughout your day today. Last week, I shared briefly what fasting means and what it means to me. This week, I would like to quickly share how fasting can spiritually benefit you. Number one, fasting reminds you how much you need God. Number two, fasting helps you focus and hear God's voice. And number three, fasting purifies and strengthens your soul. Scriptures I will be reading today will come from the book of Mark, chapter 10, excuse me, verse 27, and 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 6 through 12. I will be reading from the Life Application Study Bible, New King James Version. Mark chapter 10, 27. But Jesus looked at them and said, with men, it is impossible, but not with God, for with God, all things are possible. And now we will read from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 6 through 12. And this one is about the cheerful giver. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance of every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for God supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. While you are enriched in everything for all liberty, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. For the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we prepare to pray, let us reflect on both scriptures for a quick summary. Mark chapter 10, verse 27, summarizes, with God, all things are possible. This verse shows us God's authority and power and also gives us great faith. Since the creation of the world, God's authority and power has always been by man's side and manifested in each of his acts. For example, God guided the Israelites out of Egypt and across the Red Sea. When the Lord Jesus did his work on earth, he fed, he fed the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. He raised the dead and made the blind see. All this is the actual 
and real manifestation of God's authority. As long as we obey God's sovereignty and arrangements, look up to God in all things and heed everything that he has arranged for us. We can see that his authority and power is everywhere. And thus we have our faith in God strengthened. Again, with God, all things are possible. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 12, summarizes the cheerful giver. Paul's explanation of benefits and opportunities tied to generous giving. The key point is that godly giving is a Christ-like act of grace. God does not intend giving to be done as an obligation or under a cloud of conformity. Rather, it should be inspired and driven by a willingly or willing and cheerful giver, a cheerful heart. Giving is an opportunity for believers to participate with God in meeting the needs of the poor. God increases the ability of believers who give generously to give even more. This results in increasing his righteousness on earth, as well as in causing thankfulness to him to overflow. He will be glorified by those who receive the gift and pray for those who give. The cheerful giver. Now let us pray. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. Thanks be to God. Dear gracious and loving Father, thank you for all that our needs are supplied through you and only you. We set our eyes upon you, dear Lord, praying that our hearts are loving and kind to give to others in their time of need. Sharing the Christian faith to grow people who grow people. Giving to others that are in need and removing any selfishness from our hearts. Lord, your word says, so let each one give as he purposely, purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God, you love a cheerful giver. Father God, thank you for being constant in our lives and reminding us to seek you first in all we do and to know that with God, all things are possible. In Jesus' mighty and magnificent, powerful name. Hallelujah. And amen.